Girl, did y'all hear about this? Girl, did y'all hear about this, honey? Girl, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You heard the news. They said YK Otis. Girl, he zesty, honey. Zesty! You smell that zest? You smell the zest? You smell that zest? You smell the zest? Oh, God, is that another one? And another one, bam. What big you say? And another one. And another one bites the dust. <laughs> Girl, they all here talking about he's zesty, honey. I don't know if he's zesty or not. You know, if you zesty, live your truth. I don't got no problem with you being zesty, man. Okay? Now, uh, this news come from his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, honey. She said, you see the title? She called him in bed with another man. Oh, God. Called him in bed with another man. Oh, God. Girl, how do y'all feel about this? I tell you one thing. This is how I feel. I feel like y'all need to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Gossip Girl. XOXO. You know you love me, baby. Baby, okay, baby. I mean, they already told y'all that 90% of these brothers get down, okay? I'm not gonna be keep feeling sorry for these hoes no more when you already know nine out of 10 get down with the zest. Nine out of 10 want some dick, okay? <laughs> they want some dick every now and again, okay? Uh-huh, but uh, she came out, she said, hey, you know, um, she caught him. She caught him in bed with another man. He was a big muscle man, too. Yeah, a big, strong cock diesel noodle, okay? <laughs> she was so hurt. She was crying out here in these streets. Oh, how could you? Oh, how could you? I'm so pretty. I'm so feminine. I got a kitty cat. You don't want this kitty cat. You don't want this kitty cat. Give me a go. I gave him the kitty cat, y'all. I, I, I told him we didn't have to wait till we married. Do you know I gave this nigga kitty cat the first day and was giving him head on top of that? Girl, that wasn't enough, huh? No, no, no. I even allowed him to put his thumb in my butt. Oh, God. I did some things I didn't want to do. Oh, God, to please him, and that was not enough. I wasn't enough. I was so hurt. No, I heard about it. I heard about it. All these niggas is dusty, but I, not mine. Not my nigga. Not my nigga ain't with the zest. Not my nigga. I got a real nigga. He was strong. He was masculine. He feared God. Oh, how did it go wrong? <laughs> how did it go wrong? I got to be bad with another man. Oh, I'm with the whole man. Oh, God. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Yeah, girl, that's how I was carrying on, honey. Girl. You should have got you a God-fearing man, and that God-fearing man ain't going to be doing it with you uh, before marriage. Okay, because God-fearing men don't believe in fornication, boo-boo. Okay, you ain't have to put yourself out there like that, but you know what? You know what it stems from? Self-love. You need to love yourself, girl. You need to love yourself to know that your morals, your boundaries, your standards is not to be toyed with no matter who he is. And keep it above. Keep it real with yourself. If you know you ain't going to want to do the do before marriage, then, hey, it's going to single it down, honey. You know what I'm saying? And you need to get you a god fear Amanda. Which one you said you wanted in the first place? And you know he ain't god fear uh, rapping that secular music, that worldly music. Girl, you, you fooled your damn self. You know what's out here. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Do you know what I mean? I mean, out of ten niggas, nine of them get down. Yeah, but not your nigga, okay? It's not your nigga until it's your nigga. How about, 
it ain't your nigga until it's your nigga. And then when you find out it's your nigga, you don't even want to know about that. How about that? Okay. Are you still going to stay for the money? I don't know, honey, but I guess he boot her ass out. And uh, he have not came out and said anything in defense of this. So, girl, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honey. I just want to let y'all know this breakdown news, and it's sad that he couldn't even come out on his own terms. You know, let these niggas come out when they ready. You know, you don't just push them out the closet like that. You know, that's how people get six feet under. You know what I'm saying? Exposing niggas and shit. But she sure did expose him, girl. These girls are exposing these niggas left and right. Uh Uh-huh. Well, comment. Let us know what you guys think. And I am out. And y'all feel free to donate. Hello. Pink list 500. Y'all know I need the money. Okay. I love y'all. I'm out. Bye. (laughs) Court is a germ, baby. It's a germ.